Breaking news tonight, new travel restrictions announced. Foreigners coming from the UK and Ireland banned. Also tonight, visitors to nursing homes no longer allowed. All cruise ships halted from American ports as some hospitals begin rationing supplies. Daily life the way we know it is on hold. Americans still trying to figure out how to cope with the coronavirus pandemic. And daily life would be on hold for years. That clip was from four years ago today as the world shut down because of COVID. It's something we all really want to forget. Many should forget it because of all the awful decisions they made, even if they were well-intentioned ones. But four years, a million plus Americans dead and trillions of dollars in debt later, in many ways, it was all in vain. We have learned nothing. Evidence Harvard's firing of Dr. Martin Kulldorff, a medical school professor and epidemiologist who said such crazy things as don't close schools and injecting infants with an untested vaccine against a disease that probably won't even give them a cold. Well, that requires study. Harvard fired him. And science and scientists that purport to always want to learn from mistakes now want nothing to do with him. Martin Kildorf, former professor of Harvard Medical School, is with us now. Good to see you, sir. We appreciate it. Um, has anybody apologized to you yet? Uh, nobody at Harvard, no. Uh, there has been some other apologies sort of uh, among the general public, but no, not from Harvard. Why do you think that science and I use that term broadly, that always talks about learning and doing more, and we went from the Earth being flat to the Earth being round, can't do the same thing with COVID? I don't know. It's uh, stunning and it's very uh, disheartening as a scientist that suddenly the basic principles of public health were thrown out the window. Uh, basic uh, uh, Scientific uh, things like academic freedom and uh, open debate and discussions uh, were also thrown out the window. Suddenly, we were not allowed to say basic scientific facts anymore. I was censored by social media. The NIH director called uh, us fringe epidemiologists and asked for a takedown. So uh, um, that's uh, that's not how science can work. And if uh, if uh, we don't. Uh, put things straight in the scientific community, I think science is going to decline and the trust in science is going to continue to decline. There's an irony here, right? Claudine Gay, who is the was the president of Harvard, is still a professor who committed plagiarism. She still has a job. And it's weird, right? Because if you if you plagiarize a research paper um, about you know, racial theory in America, nobody really dies. The stakes just aren't that high. The flip side is, um, with what you study in disease, the stakes are extraordinarily high. It's why it is so important um, to have people who are willing to, to follow the science and not follow um, the politics, as was done. Have you yeah, seen so any indication that the lessons of COVID um, were learned by, and I'll use this again, quote unquote, the scientific community? Uh, some have, but I would say that the uh, science bureaucrats, the scientific leaders, have not uh, shown any realization or admission that uh, things went really badly. And uh, the evidence is in because in 2020, Sweden was heavily criticized for not locking down and not closing the elementary schools and so on. And we now know that among Western countries, uh, Sweden has the lowest uh, excess mortality during 2020 to 22. So uh, Sweden did not, uh, the lockdowns didn't help with COVID, but it created a lot of collateral public health damage on uh, uh, cardiovascular disease, cancer, mental health, and so on. And of course, uh, closing schools, that, uh, that means that kids are not learning. They are, they are in school for a reason. So that's going to have yeah. a long term effect. Let's, let's look decades. forward. You're, you're an epidemiologist, Professor. I mean, you, you study these things, you look forward. Are we now in a better position or a worse position uh, to deal with the next pandemic four years later? Uh, I hope we are in a better position because I, uh, the public has certainly learned from uh, the mistakes. Right. I don't think that uh, the lockdowns can ever be implemented again. The resistance will be too strong. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think you're absolutely... Absolutely right. And still, no, no Blue Ribbon Commission, no uh, independent panel or anything to, to really answer the, the questions, like 9-11 or after Pearl Harbor. Uh, professor, doctor, it was good to see you, sir. Thank you very much. We appreciate the time.
Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.